Hey everyone, today we're going to be swatching the four new Terra Moons cosmetics eyeshadows that I got. These are all multi-chromes, they're all fun, shifty goodness, so if you want to see swatches of all the shades, just keep watching. The first shade that we have is Lyra, which is a really pretty, like, yellow base with, like, a blue multi-chrome with it. It's very, very pretty. For some reason, it's really not showing up well on my phone, but that's a fine. I'll just show you guys all the different angles and, like, look at how pretty that is. I'm very excited for this one. I promise you that the shift is more beautiful than you guys can see, like, in person. Good lord, it looks so stunning. Like, I wish that I could get, like, the perfect, like, visual for you guys. But this is just such, like, an iridescency almost shade with that little bit of yellow base. But it's just so pretty. Like, look at that. I'm so excited. This is going to go on my inner corner today, even though I'm not doing real makeup. It's fine. Not so pretty. Honestly, shades like this are my favorite. I'm going to miss my balcony so much when I move. I don't go out on it, but like, it's this lighting is perfect for swatching multichrome. So, and in my parents' house, we don't have anything. Um, we don't have good lighting. Like, we don't have a ton of windows or anything. So it's like, I'm going to have to figure out how to swatch multichromes. But that's fine. This is just stunning. I cannot wait to swatch the other three shades that I bought. I'm just so excited. I forgot to mention that Lyra is more of a flaky formula, whereas um, some of the other Terra Moon shades are not as flaky, so I'll try to tell you which is which. The next shade we have is Stellar Apotheosis. Is that how you say it? I'm not sure. But this is one of the most beautiful shades. Um, my BFF alien slut on <laughs> Instagram was like, I was like, what are your, like, what shades do I need from Terra Moons? And she was like, this is really pretty, but it's like this other one. And I think you'd like this one more. And I was like, okay. so I got it. And like, look at, ooh, right there. You can see all the shifts. Like it goes like yellow, red, like a bluey. It's just so absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. Look at how gorgeous that is. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Terra Moons really does have beautiful shadows. This is what the shade looks like swatched. Look at that, y'all. It's so pretty. It like it has like a blue base to it. Like if I go like that, you can see like the blue base, but it has like red, pink, yellow, like some green to it. Like look at that. That is stunning is so pretty like i just cannot get over that like i am obsessed with these shades i cannot wait to get more multi-chromes in my life that is just such a stunning shade i'm not even sure i have anything in my collection like it i'm gonna have to go through my multi-chromes and do some comparisons and stuff this is just so pretty this is gonna be so beautiful all over the lid. Like this is definitely gonna be the next multi-chrome I use all over my lid. Like it's just so stunning. And I think that the shift is very good. This shade is like, it was a bit flaky, but it wasn't as flaky as Lyra. It just really seamlessly applied too. So I'm very excited. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna put all the multi-chromes all over my eyes today, because why not? The last two shades I have are Aurora Australis and hyperspace and honestly in my bedroom lighting they looked very similar but in daylight they do not look similar at all so i'm so excited so this is what aurora australis looks like i may be butchering that i'm not sure but this just looks like such a beautiful multi-chrome y'all like i just i don't know i just think it looks really stunning it's like got pink it's got magenta like oh it's got gold and greeny like it's just so pretty i'm kind of in love with it i'm it's not a shade that I have in my collection, you know? So I'm like, yes, please. So this is what Aurora Australis looks like. It like has like a darker base, but not a black base, which I like. I don't mind if a shade has a darker base, as long as it's not black, because then that makes it harder for me to use it. But like this shade, it's just like a darker purple base, if that makes sense. And then it goes like a magenta to like a pink to like gold and green it's just really really unique and i'm quite pleasantly surprised with it to be honest i wasn't too sure when i was swatching it because it wasn't like as intense as the other two shades but then i saw it in light and i was like oh my gosh that is stunning 
I don't have anything like this and I'm very happy to add it to my collection to be honest. It's just so pretty. The next shadow we have is Hyperspace, which this is darker of a shade than what I would usually get for like a lid shade, but like I'm super excited for this. My BFF like totally like did a look with- Hi Simon! She did a look with this and it was amazing. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, that is so absolutely stunning. Look at that, you can see it's almost like a rainbow shift. That is beautiful. So this is what hyperspace looks like. I'm trying to get like a good angle, but for some reason it just does not wanna, oh, there we go, that is perfect. You can see just how stunning it is. I did think that this would be closer to Stellar Apothesis than it was, but it's not, it's completely different. And it has like, look at, oh, look at that shift. This is absolutely stunning. I think that this shade is gonna be so fun considering I don't have anything like it. Like, look at this shade. It's absolutely stunning. It's just so pretty. I really, really like this shade a lot. If it could stay in focus, that would be grand. This is really pretty. So this is how hyperspace looks. It is so stunning. It has like a really, like it has like a dark blue base, but then it has gold like some green it has yellow it has pink it has magenta like it's just a stunning multi-chrome in my opinion i think it's absolutely stunning and so here it is just like you can see the different angles of color depending on where you stand i just think that these are absolutely stunning look at that oh my gosh it is so pretty i can't wait to put that all over my lid it's stunning i think this probably shows it as true to color you can see all these different shifts and then when we get into the overcast light this is what it looks like you can see all the different shifts and shine and it's just absolutely beautiful thank you all so much for watching this swatch video i really hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you subscribe comment down below any videos you'd like to see me do go follow my instagram and tiktok makeup by tasha xo and i'll see you in the next video bye